Does drinking soda cause kidney stones? Let's talk about that. So today we're talking about soda and kidney stones. So we have a question. I'm going to read it off real quick and we'll dive right in. Very often I see people claiming that if you drink soda or other drinks instead of water, you will get kidney stones down the road. Is this true? From my understanding, I thought that drinking two liters of liquid every day was a good way to combat kidney stones, irrespective of whether that liquid is water or something else. I drink a lot of flavored sparkling water, so I was curious about this. Yeah, it's a great question. Um, let's, let's, let's break it down. So. My, my advice to everybody is you need to drink enough fluids to produce two and a half liters of urine at least, that's the minimum, a day. Okay? And there's research on all of this at my mentor site, Fred Co., Dr. Co., at kidneystone.uchicago.edu. So much research, so much. So... All fluids count. Water is best. This is what I have said for decades. All fluids count. Water is best. So people will pick my brain. Well, what about milk? What about juice? What about soda? What about lemonade? What about whatever? Fill in the blank. All of it counts, but there's a lot of fluids that are better than others. I also have an article at Dr. Coe's site, A Thirst for Variety at kidneystone.uchicago.edu. So, soda specifically, you may hear your doctor say, stay away from the brown sugar. (laughs) Stay away from the brown sodas, but the clear ones are fine. I got something to say about that too. I don't love that advice. The clear sodas, 7-Up, Sprite, Things like that, Fresca. Well, Fresca has sugar substitute, and that's really showing my age. But Sprite (laughs) and uh, 7-Up, they are clear sodas, but they have a lot of sugar. And whether you're drinking brown soda or clear soda, they all have a lot of sugar. Typically, those uh, mm, regular sodas, not diet sodas, regular sodas have about 38 grams of sugar in one can. Why do we care about sugar? Number one, the more sugar you eat, think added sugar, not fruit. Fruit came with sugar. I'm talking about a product that was made and sugar was put into it. When we have too much added sugar, we will pee less So we'll put out less urine output and our urine calcium may rise. Too much calcium in the urine can increase your stone risk and of course osteopenia and osteoporosis. So I don't love that advice. Now, if you say to me, oh, Jill, I want a Sprite here and there, uh, enjoy, of course. And yes, that does count to your total uh, uh, volume of fluids, but it's also having some issues too. Again, could be pulling calcium out of your bone, dumping it into the urine, could make you pee less. So I would not drink any sugared soda. Now, what is it about the brown sodas? Why do doctors say stay away from those? Well, brown sodas typically contain phosphoric acid and that additive can acidify your urine, which means it can make your urine pH, pH, I'm having issues. (laughs) It can make your urine pH lower. Who cares, Jill? A low urine pH, an acidic urine pH, these are the same things, calcium oxalate crystals and uric acid crystals love that environment. So they are more apt to grow in that environment for people who make kidney stones. That is why your doctors are saying stay away from the brown sodas. I'm going to tell you stay away from all soda because of the sugar. It's one of the, I hate to say it, but it's, 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 really on the top of my worst foods or drinks that you can have because it's just all sugar. 
Now, as I always say, I'm always going to say to you, if this is something you got to have once a week, a couple times a week, please enjoy it. Because if you don't get to have your favorite things, you're likely to give up. So I get people that give me hell about, Jill, why are you telling people they can have soda? I'm very clear on why, what I say. Sometimes we're going to have, I have one of my patients, she's a wonderful woman. Uh, I've known her for a very long time, and she is in her 80s, and she has a soda a week. What am I going to tell her in her 80s? What are you, nuts having that soda every week? It brings her so much joy. She's she's so compliant and everything else. I'm going to say, of course you can have that soda. Enjoy it. When we're able to have our favorite things here and there, we are we we don't have our cravings getting a hold of us and then just saying, the hell with this, I can't do it. We have it. We move on. We get right back on track. Nobody makes a stone when they have that kind of lifestyle. You have your favorite thing once a week, you get right back on track. The end. So brown sodas are one of the worst things you could do overall health. Every single day, five sodas a day, and I have patients that have done that. Those are just not the greatest thing for you. They're just so high in sugar. The brown sugars have phosphoric acid, which is acidifying your urine. And that is a great environment for uric acid and calcium oxalate stones to grow. You can have the clear sodas. But again, they have a lot of sugar. So if I were you, I would then maybe have the diet sodas. At least you get rid of the sugar as far as the clear sodas go. And, you know, don't have them every single day. But then also, this is very specific when I'm talking when I'm doing privates on the phone I assess each person if someone says to me if I don't have a diet soda every day I can't do this I'm going to say have the diet soda because they're willing to get rid of candy and cookies and cake they just want that stupid diet soda I'm going to say keep it please keep it but if they tell me well Jill if I have one diet soda I'm going to want 10 I'm going to say you re that you can't do. So it just depends and this is why we need to talk to people to find out how important things are to them. So if they think they can't have it at all they may just give up. If they say oh I could have one a day I'm willing to do that. Great. Is it a trigger food for them? So ask them. Maybe it is. Maybe you say you could have two a day for now and wean yourself off. You'll be surprised how fast you can wean yourself off things. So, and also, you got to remember, these patients are coming to me because they had, quote unquote, the worst pain of their life. They're willing to give up their firstborn. So most people are tend to be very compliant. Plus, you'll save some calories. People say all the time, I'm doing the kidney stone diet. I've lost so much weight. It's a miracle. It's not. You're lowering sugar. You're lowering salt. You're eating healthier. Now, the other thing as far as incorporating, because we all know I'm going to love pushing this in every video. If you're struggling with water, don't forget you can eat your water too. Fruits and vegetables are filled with fluids. So don't forget that too. My vegans and vegetarians, they get rid of the highest oxalate foods, but they, they, they can pee more than people that don't eat veggies just simply because veggies and fruits are so high in, in water. So that's just another great way to get more fluids into your body so you can pee more. The number one thing, folks, is the more you pee, the less saturated your urine is with these crystals. You're peeing these crystals out on a continuous continuous basis. They don't sit in your kidney, in your urine, in your kidney. And they're, they, I've said it a million times, they're like little magnets. They're looking for each other. So the more you're able to pee them out, the less likely you are to make new kidney stones. That's first and foremost. Next, I say, there's six goals to the kidney stone diet. The next thing you should work on is salt. Um, and then lowering salt and sugar will make you pee less. Some of you are drinking six glasses a day and you're just teetering on the edge of not peeing enough. But if you lower your salt and sugar, you're going to pee more that way. So all of these things, all of these things help you produce more urine. The more urine you, that leaves your body and carrying these crystals away, the less likely you are to make new 
kidney stones. So it's super important. So soda, brown sugar, brown soda is not a fan of it. If you need one once a week, please have that. That's fine. No one's making a stone with that. But the brown sugar, the, the brown <laughs> sodas, the brown sodas are high in phosphoric acid. It's acidifying your urine, and that's putting you more at risk for kidney stones, along with all the sugar it has in it. Increase urine calcium will make you pee less. Those are the reasons you should not be drinking brown soda or any sodas on a regular basis. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and for anyone who doesn't like diet, for example, I really like the liquid death sodas. I don't know if you've tried mm -hmm. them yet, but they have cola, they have a Dr. Pepper, it's called Dr. Death, they have lemon lime. This isn't sponsored by liquid death or anything, but they're two grams of sugar in one can, ten calories. How and much like, is the sodium? How turn it around, Buster? So Brown. yeah, the sodium, sodium in it is actually zero. Very good. Love yeah, isn't that, that wild? Then. So like they have, it's agave, agave nectar and stevia. I don't love good. stevia normally, but the flavor, obviously, I don't drink it very much. I had one yeah. yesterday though. And just, it's nice to have that little change of pace sometimes. Jeff, and that's yeah. such an important point and I'm glad you brought it up. I don't know what I would do without you. This is what people are complaining about. That's why these questions are asked. I can't drink friggin' water all day long. I need something else. So Yes, you can have. And I think this particular question, he said or she said that they were drinking sparkling waters. As long as the salt and sugar are low in those sparkling waters, please enjoy them. You, you, we all need a break. I get mm -hmm. it. We all need a break from just water. I will go on record by saying all fluids count, water is best. Those of you who are also, you know, now you're drinking milk or now you're drinking Plant milks, all that is included in your daily fluid count too. So don't forget that, right? That counts. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if hopefully this was helpful, if you like this video uh, or podcast, thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, send it to a friend, and you can dive deep into all the kidney stone diet goals at kidneystonediet.com. They're right there on the site. So everything that you possibly need, you can find there and sign up for the email newsletter to get a little inspiration every weekend in your inbox. But with that, I think we'll wrap for this week and we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.